six months post-op from my rotator cuff surgery that I had on this left arm. In the description below, as all the videos that I've made, I've listed what I had done. Mother's Day 2023 is when I'll be 100% healed. At this point, I'm 50% healed, but I do feel way more like myself. As I said in every video, I'm making them to document my journey, to kind of reflect on it, to encourage myself. And if it helps you or a family member or friend, great. That's wonderful. In fact, I know that some of you are joining me on this journey because you're on it. You had this similar surgery. And I appreciate your questions, your comments, your positive words, and your encouragement. And I want to throw it right back at you. So where am I at at six, at six months? So first off, my range of motion is really good. Okay, I can pretty much do everything with both arms the same now. I started out by lifting just like one pound, then I went up to two pounds in the exercises that I did, then I went to three, and now <laughs> I'm up to five pounds. So here are some of the exercises that I've been working on with my physical therapist. I don't have to go as often. I used to go two times a week, and now I went like one time in like weeks 14 to um, 24. And now I just kind of go sparingly when I need to. So some of the things that we did, we did this with just one pound weights, which is typically just a water bottle of 500 milliliters of water, were those, okay? I also started working on doing um, like pullbacks or butterflies or you're leaning down and, and moving this back. I did the ABCs, which that means I hold up this um, weight above my head laying down and you literally draw the ABCs, okay? And I can do that pretty much even with five pounds at this point. The other thing I can do is even just going straight down and back up. And it's kind of crazy to be back to five pounds because I can lift a lot more than that before I had my injury. My injury came from what I would say is a lifetime of use. I work hard, I play hard, and I paid hard. So I didn't really have one thing that made it happen. It was just a lifetime of use. Other things at six months that are kind of great, I went for a bike ride when I felt confident enough. That was about a week or two ago. I can put my seatbelt on with my left arm. You don't have to reach over like that. I can drive confidently and for a long distance and have no, like, take any painkillers or anything when I get home. I'm sleeping really well. I can sleep on either side and I can get up to even like 80s in my sleep score app, which is fantastic. And I, again, only have to go to PT like maybe every other week or when I need to at this point instead of going twice a week and working on all those exercises that I had in separate videos. I did have one day where I picked up my backpack and it was definitely over five pounds and I was sore. So I did still keep the <laughs> bags of peas in my freezer just in case. And I did take some um, anti-inflammatory and pain meds that day, but I got better within a day or so. I actually took physical therapy off the week that I did that. I just picked up my bag without thinking and I just pushed this uh, bicep, I think, too, too hard. So just be careful once you get this far that you start to feel better. Your range of motion is fantastic, but you really have to be careful how much you're lifting. At this point, my doctor has said still keep it to five pounds. Next week, I see my doctor. Maybe I'll get the okay to go up and I'll go back to physical therapy and maybe pick up some new exercises to get stronger and back to the weightlifting that I did pre this injury or surgery. The other thing I think that's kind of fun, I can't go snowboarding yet, um, not only because we don't have snow, but I don't think I'm gonna be allowed to snowboard this season. It'll be a whole nother year. But I can take my snowboard with both arms off the wall <laughs> and put it back up without any trouble above my head, which there's no way I can't even imagine what that would have been like trying to do something like that even a month ago. So it's amazing that I'm starting to feel like myself again. However, I have to be careful in the mindset that you don't push it, don't pick up something that's too heavy. And just always be aware that this shoulder at this point can at most be 50% healed no matter what you did. So you've got to be careful that you don't push it too far and then regret back or regress back to you know where you were when you started the, after the surgery. So I think that's it. I've got everything that I, like I said, I did um, some exercises. It's exciting, like I said, to be up to uh, five pounds, whether I'm just curling it or, you know, doing any kind of exercise with it. Um, and so for some of you, I think it's encouraging for you to see <laughs> you're behind me and it's kind of nice to know like where, where are you at? 
and just keep staying positive and patient. I made a bracelet and I talk about that in each video. And then my happy bracelet is pretty much worn off <laughs> that my daughter gave me from the very get-go. Find a mantra that works for you. Keep at it. Stay positive. I'm going to tell myself that. I think the biggest thing for me in the next six months is to not do something I shouldn't do <laughs> and regret my decision and just keep pushing my weightlifting higher and higher till I'm back to where I was before I had the surgery. All right, I'm gonna check my, I made little notes this time like a teacher, like I am. <laughs> and I just wanna make sure I got everything. Um, no pain, like I said, I can take very, no pain meds at all. And I just kind of have a normal everyday life. I just have to be aware of my limitations. All right, good luck to all of you if you're watching this. Um, feel free to comment or question if I didn't talk about something or go over something that you were interested in. But again, I hope to look back on this six month journey in a little bit and be even more proud of myself. Bye, stay happy.